Hi everyone, this is me Bilal here from microcontrollerslab.com. In today's uh, tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to use the microcontroller timers as an interrupt or how we, how we can generate scale waves uh, using the microcontroller timers and uh, it will be done through interrupt. So this is the article I have posted on my website microcontrollerslab.com. I have explained each and everything in this article about PIC microcontrollers, timers and how to use PIC microcontroller timers as I interrupt as you can see and uh, uh, I have chosen PIC 18F46K22 microcontroller in this tutorial but concept of which I will provide you will remain same either you are using PIC 16F877 microcontroller or PIC 18F52 microcontroller. Uh, PIC 18F46 K22 microcontroller has uh, three timers and uh, um, it has three 8 bit timers and four 16 bit timers. And in this example, we are using timer 0, and timer 0 can be used as either as a 6 bit, 8 bit timer, or a 16 bit timer. So, to use uh, timer uh, 0, it has two assist, uh, registers associated with it. First one is interrupt control register, and second one is timer 0 control register. Uh, other uh, timers also have two registers for example uh, there might be timer timer 1 has timer 1 control register and, uh, and it might have other uh, the other control register as well so uh, you can check it from data sheet of your uh, microcontroller or which, whatever uh, pick microcontroller you are choosing so first of all uh, in interrupt control register uh, when you want to use timer 0 as an interrupt, you have to enable two interrupt bits. First bit is here you can see a global interrupt enable bit, you have to enable it. And second bit is uh, peripheral interrupt, uh, interrupt enable bit. This is used to enable peripheral, for example, in our case, timer is over peripheral. And in uh, you also have to uh, enable uh, timer 0, enable uh, timer 0 uh, interrupt overflow uh, bit and similarly you also have to enable this uh, 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 this sorry this is a software enable bit whenever timer 0 uh, overflow occurred this uh, this bit tmr01 uh, tmr0 if automatically become 0 and we need to clear it in software i will explain it to you in code so in this interrupt control register we will be set we will be using four uh, uh, four uh, bits for timer 0 for example this uh, for example in an, you should initialize this bit is, uh, GEI is equal to 1 and you also initialize PEIE bit is equal to 1 to use timer 0 as an interrupt and you should also enable the interrupt of timer the, uh, timer 0 IE timer 0 enable bit so enable the timer 0 overflow interrupt so whenever timer 0 goes from 0 to 255 it will if you are using it as a 8 bit timer so it will go to maximum 255 and after 255 interrupt will occur and this bit timer 0 if it art, will automatically become equal to 1 and we will clear it, in, clear it in software and we will check it later this is the register for timer 0 control register and uh, first of all you need one when you want to uh, turn on the timer you, you have to enable this bit timer 0 1 is equal to 1 and timer 0 can be used as a timer of the counter so in this tutorial I'm only talking about uh, as a timer so you must uh, you must make this bit equal to 0 and uh, 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 these two bit number 6 and 5 uh, are used when you want to use timer as a counter so we are using timer as a timer only so you this bo both these bit bits will be equal to 0 and uh, this bit will also uh, 0 in this case so here uh, these are the two bits which are useful when you are using timer 0 as a uh, timer so first of all uh, if you want to use a prescaler Prescaler is basically used to uh, step, uh, for example, uh, step down the value of your frequency. I will explain it later. And uh, for uh, for now, you assume that 
we use pre scaler to further uh, step down our frequency for example if we are using 16 megahertz crystal of our microcontroller and uh, over and over uh, uh, microcontroller uh, we want to uh, run our uh, timer with low frequency then we can we can use this pre scaler to uh, uh, to step down the frequency for example if we are using 16 mega megahertz crystal and we want to run over timer at uh, uh, 8 megahertz so we can use this prescaler so these 0 to 1 bits will be 0 1 and 2 this uh, TOPS bits will be equal to 0 0 0 and for, similarly if you want to use uh, 6 uh, eight, for example if you want to 2 megahertz only then we will uh, we will use this prescaler but to use prescaler first you will have to uh, make this bit is equal to 0 if you use this bit is equal to 1 prescaler will be disabled so so we have two registers associated with timer zero, timer zero control register and, and uh, interrupt control register. So uh, first of all, uh, you, you need to uh, turn on the timer and uh, uh, then you need to enable the interrupt bits uh, which I explain in uh, time interrupt control register. And uh, now let's come to the, for example, uh, in, in our example, we are uh, we want to generate a delay of 10, uh, generate a scare wave of 10 period 10 milliseconds and should be a uh, should be on for 5 milliseconds and off for 5 milliseconds. So first of all, if you want to generate a delay of uh, 10 milliseconds, it should be on for 10 milliseconds and it should be on for off for 10 milliseconds. So for example, if we are we are using a 4, 4 megahertz crystal. Okay, so now we uh, with four megahertz crystal uh, over uh, timer will uh, how how much uh, uh, how much clicks it, it ticks it can generate. For example, uh, if you are using four megahertz uh, external crystal, then uh, automatically there is uh, this uh, timer uh, crystal frequency will be divided by four. So uh, it, it it will happen with every epic microcontroller because uh, it pick microcontroller takes four cycles to complete one instruction. So four divided by four is one megahertz. This is the frequency will, which will be given to over timer. So to generate a five millisecond interrupt, uh, for, for example, of total time uh, for scare wave is ten millisecond, and we want to turn it on for five millisecond and turn it off for uh, five millisecond. So total time on total time for interrupt is five millisecond. So five divided by 1000 which is basically uh, uh, basically 5 millisecond and we have uh, 1 uh, one million uh, sorry 1 mega ticks because we uh, we can and we can perform uh, 1 mega mega instructions in uh, with this uh, frequency so uh, with uh, with this we will get 5000 ticks but uh, but we are using a timer which is basically 8 bit which can count maximum 256 okay so for example to generate 5 millisecond uh, in, uh, delay with interrupt we need uh, 5000 instructions to pass but uh, but we are using a timer which is which is basically only 8 bit so it can only tick up to 256 so it can go from 0 to 255 basically which is basically 256 so it can count up to 256 only so we need to step down this frequency so so that we can get minimum uh, low uh, ticks so for example if we if i use a prescaler of uh, 4 then uh, we will getting uh, 1250 to get 5 millisecond uh, to get uh, to get 5 millisecond uh, delay you will get uh, 1250 which is still larger than a 255 so we need to use a uh, higher prescaler if you use a prescaler of 32 so if with uh, 32 prescaler it's it will be 57 so uh, over timer can count up to 157 so first of all what we need to do we need to spec this value from our uh, uh, timer so time maximum the timer can read is up to 256 to 255 minus 156 198 so we will upload this value to uh, timer register so let's go to the code as you can see first of all we and uh, we make the port be as a digital uh, uh, port and uh, and we uh, declare the port be as output port 
then we initialize this code as a uh, to zero. So now we have loaded the value of 98 to, uh, to uh, timer uh, timer zero because we want to generate a delay of uh, want to generate a delay of five milliseconds. So we want uh, interrupt to be occur after uh, five milliseconds only. So we need to uh, get uh, we need it to count up to 157 only. But timer will start counting from zero. Uh, if we not initialize it, so in our case we want we will initialize it is it will be it with uh, 98, so it will count from 98 to 255, which is basically 157. So it will uh, it, it will count 157, and uh, now uh, we have uh, we are initializing timer zero control register. So we have set it to zero xc4, which is hexa value, and the binary it will be. One one these two are uh, interrupt, uh, general interrupt and peripheral interrupt bits which I explained to you earlier, and this is the bit to enable uh, timer zero interrupt. Now, similarly, we have enabled the general enable bit, and we also enable the uh, this. This is this is what timer zero control register, and we set uh, sorry we uh, so we set uh, we set uh, prescaler and uh, we choose. Time zero as timer through this register, which I explained you earlier, and these two uh, bits are used to set uh, general and uh, timer uh, uh, interrupt bit and general uh, general uh, interrupt bit. Now come to the uh, interrupt function. Here we, uh, um, as I told you earlier, this bit will become one when uh, whenever timer timer overflow occurs. So whenever uh, timer starts from 98, timer goes to 255. So when timer, when timer uh, starts from 98 to and when it will reach 255, uh, it means it will count uh, 157, which is basically equal to five millisecond delay. So it after two uh, after uh, two, uh, when timer reach 255, or it counts up to 157. Uh, and yeah, this interrupt will become uh, this bit will become one. So what we are doing, we are just inverting the port B. Okay, whatever is on the uh, on the top port B, we are inverting it. So if it is zero, it will become become one, and after one interrupt, it will become uh, zero. Then uh, and so on, one zero one zero. So as I told you earlier, we need to clear this bit in software. So we are here clearing it, and we again upload the value of ninety eight timer zero so that it can count up to one fifty seven only. So now let's compile this code and then our simulation. And this is uh, we are using four megahertz crystal, and we have connected our oscilloscope with the port B of getting a four six or double microcontroller. So as you can see, this is generating a uh, scare wave, and uh, we can check it with the help of uh, oscilloscope. Over scare wave is. Uh, As you can see, our scare wave is 10 millisecond, and it is 10 uh, five. It is, it is on for five millisecond and off for uh, yes. Oh, it is on for five millisecond, and similar similarly, it is off for five milliseconds. So this is how to use timer uh, of quick microcontroller, and how we can uh, generate scare waves uh, with the help of timers. Thanks for watching.